Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Won't you praise him with me this morning? Hallelujah. For we come to glorify and lift up his holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Ha, ah, God has been good. Hallelujah. He is an awesome God. Our God is awesome. He reigns from heaven above. Hallelujah. And we thank him. Hallelujah. For his grace and for his mercy. For if it had not been for his being on our side this morning, where would we be? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We haven't done anything to earn his love, but he gives it so freely. Hallelujah. And I know that I am so thankful. I appreciate my Father. Would you stand to your feet right now and put your hands together and just give God some praises. Give him some praises this morning. Hallelujah. It's nothing like praising our Father. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus will never forget what you've done for us. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. We are going to have the invocation this morning. Good morning, right on time, by Reverend Juanita Crutcher. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. Good morning. Hallelujah. Let us bow before the Lord this morning in a word of prayer. Father God, we come this morning to say thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that you look upon us with a compassionate eye and Oh, God, every day you keep pouring your blessings upon us. Lord God, we thank you for life and health and strength. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, for the movement of our bodies this morning. Oh, God, we thank you that you woke us up, God, with your finger of love, God. And, oh, God, that you allowed us to come together and assemble in your house one more time. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God, for the food that you put on our tables this weekend. Oh, God, thank you, Lord God, for the clothes. Oh, God, that you put on our back. And, oh, God, with the many stormy winds that blow, God, we thank you for the shelter that we had over our heads this morning, God. Oh, God, for the pillow, God, that we laid on last night. Lord, we thank you for, Lord God, we take so many things for granted so much. And, Lord, we come together corporately, God, just to say thank you this morning, God. Oh, God, we come to lift up holy hands and say thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, we come to open up our mouths and say thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, we come to clap our hands and say thank you, Lord God, because you've been so good to us that we can't thank you enough. Oh, God, that you've done for us. And so, God, we just show a little gratitude this morning in our worship. So, Holy Spirit, help us to worship you this morning. Help us to lift you up, Lord God. Help us to magnify your name. Help us to give you glory. Thank you, Lord God. And, Lord God, there are some, God, who are part of this church family. Not able to make it this morning. Oh, God, we ask God that you just touch them wherever they may be this morning. Touch their bodies, God. Bring healing in their being, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, touch those, God, who don't have even a mind to come and worship you this morning. Turn them around, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, touch our children, Lord God. 
Oh, God, those, God, who are rebellious, God, and those who want to go about doing their own thing, Lord God, touch in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, open up their eyes to see, God, that we all need you. And, Lord God, as you're touching our families, God, touch those, God, who are in this world, God. Oh, God, those that we don't even know by name. Oh, God, who are wandering aimlessly, God. Oh, God, we pray for salvation in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, help us, Lord God, to become your witnesses so that dying men, women, boys, and girls may find their way home to you. Lord God, help us as a church family to be about but you would have us to be. And Lord God, we just thank you this morning that you gave us sense enough to come into your house to give you praise. So we lift up our hands one more time and say thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, 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 because it's the highest praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We come to give you glory. We come to give you praise. We come to worship you. We come to glorify you. We come to magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Allow your presence to fill this place. Hallelujah. Allow us to forget about ourselves. Hallelujah. Allow us to lift up our voices. Hallelujah. And give your worship this morning. Hallelujah. Allow us to lift up holy hands. Hallelujah. And give your worship this morning. Allow us, hallelujah, to reach deep down in our spirits. Hallelujah. And give you a praise. Hallelujah. A praise that honors you. A praise that lifts you up. A praise that blesses your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you created us for worship. And we thank you, God, for every opportunity that you give us to worship you. In spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Somebody ought to put your hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Tell God you're thankful. Hallelujah. Put those hands together and give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Tell him you love him. Tell him you need him. Tell him he's worthy. He's worthy, 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 worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Good morning, Mount Olive. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Good morning. I guess we didn't sleep well last night, huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. The scripture this morning comes from the book of Acts, the first chapter, the first chapter, verses 7 and 8. And it reads thus, And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
than any brother. That's the best friend you could ever have. You don't have to worry about what you say to him 
getting back to somebody else. Hallelujah, because what you share with him is between you and him. Hallelujah. Take it to Jesus every time. Come on, Sister Mathlin. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God this morning. Good morning. Are you a friend of God? I ask myself, are those words they are saying? Because I can put some words to a song that's not there. But for God to be your friend, that is a wonderful place to find yourself this morning. And when I, when I was greeting people this morning, I thought about how highly favored am I? Just to be up this morning, to have all my senses still moving and my limbs moving. We take so much for granted. Oh, he's a friend. I'm highly favored to be in your midst this morning. So let me stop this morning. We pause to uh, recognize our visitors. If we have any visitors at this time, would you kindly stand for us? Ah. Good morning, good morning. You can already feel that you are in the midst of people who worship God, who praise God. So we welcome you here this morning to worship with us. And we know that you are going to be blessed because that's how God does things. So welcome, brother, to be in our midst this morning. Uh, brother David Frazier's brother is what I'm told. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to be here. Brother Frazier, I say this because maybe you're looking for a church home. And if, if you are, know that you've already found that church home. And if you're looking for a fantastic teaching, preaching pastor, uh, we welcome you to see our pastor, the Reverend Mark E. Crutcher. Would you stand, Pastor? He would love to be your pastor. Thank you this morning. Good morning. I'll be doing your announcements for you today. Um, if you will take a look at the back of your bulletin, we have everything listed there. There are a couple of things that I'm going to highlight. Uh, for you. Uh, first thing I want to highlight for you is the Royal Women in Purple. Uh, that's presented by the Women's Ministry. They're going to have their program, or we are going to have our program on October the 22nd at 4 o'clock. That's next Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. And uh, we really need for you to come back and celebrate and worship with us. Uh, uh, the Reverend Dr. Felicia Williams is going to be our speaker, and uh, we really like for you to come back at 4 o'clock next Sunday afternoon and partake of that wonderful service. Now, the women's choir will be singing for that service also, so if you, uh, women's, ladies' choir, women's choir, all right, we got a couple up there. Uh, uh, you're going to have rehearsal on Thursday at 7. So uh, we know you're going to be, we know you're going to be good. We know you're going to be good. So be sure and come out for choir rehearsal um, at 7 o'clock on Thursday evening for the uh, Royal Women in Purple. And since I'm talking about choir rehearsal, the kids' choir will be rehearsing on Tuesday and Thursday this week at 6. Um, I see no kids this morning. Y'all tell all them kids y'all know choir rehearsal at 6 o'clock on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Okay. Uh, what I also want to remind you of is that this month is October. We're celebrating uh, Clergy Appreciation Month. If you have not had a chance yet to fill out or write a uh, note or a card to our ministerial staff, you still have time to do that. You can put your notes and cards out in the baskets in the narthex. Just write them a, uh, just a nice little note and let them know how much you appreciate them. We're going to celebrate and culminate this entire activity uh, at the end of the month. Um, I believe it's probably going to be October the 29th. So stop by and get a thank you card. And um, I'm sure 
that uh, they will appreciate the things that you have to say. I know I appreciate our clergy, all every single one of them. Uh, very important uh, note here, the ministry reports for first quarter is due, uh, are due on November the 13th. So ministry leaders get all your paperwork and your reports in to Talese uh, no later than the 13th. And I believe, uh, Bible study on Wednesday at 7 p.m. We have praise and worship and prayer meeting beginning at 6.30. So we would still encourage and uh, uh, strongly encourage you to come out for Bible study on, uh, on Wednesday nights. The WMS is going to be in the kitchen, going to be helping us out with um, our meal and so forth. So WMS, come back behind the counter, back behind the window, and, and greet everybody. And, and members, you greet the members of WMS and give them a big smile when you uh, uh, sit down for dinner on Wednesday evening. I believe, oh, and last one, uh, Presiding Elder Walker is going to hold the Orlando District Special Event here at Mount Olive on Sunday the 29th. That's at 4 o'clock. And uh, the entire district is going to be here, so we want to be here to welcome our guests. Uh, and what we'll be doing, we'll be celebrating uh, members, clergy, officers who are 75 years and older so come out and, and worship and fellowship and celebrate with our uh, older members and clergy. Uh, we, they would love to see you. Uh, we would love to see you, and we look forward to seeing you at 4 o'clock on the 29th and at 4 o'clock on the 22nd. And I believe those are all of the announcements that we have for today. If you will make a note by the ones that pertain to you, which are pretty much all of them, We'll be uh, happy to see you on each and every one of those days. Thank you so very much. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Come on, let's give God a hand all over the house. Let me take the time this morning to just say thank you. On yesterday, the church come together. Uh, for home going celebration that was just marvelously wonderful. Amen. And let me say thank you so very much. Marvelously wonderful. Amen. Uh, Y'all really did it. Amen. I want to give a hand to the choir and musicians who did them. Yes, yeah. yeah they just, they, they turned it to Sunday morning in here on yesterday. Amen. Yeah, it, it was church. It, yeah. yeah, it wasn't no funeral. It was church. Yeah, yeah, it turned to Sunday morning. I mean, the family was out there. They would act like they was at revival rather than at the funeral. Praise be to the Lord. Amen. So thank you so very much all the way uh, from, the, from the bringing the family in to feeding them. And just, just it was a wonderful experience. Thank you. Let's give God another hand. Amen. I also want to, and I want to share with you uh, uh, somebody that came in uh, yesterday. One of the persons said, there's, just, there's a sweet spirit in this place. And uh, they pulled one of the members and said, there's something about this place. When I walked in, it's just the spirit. It's just a blessed spirit in this place. And then another <clears throat> young man from Atlanta came, and he says, y'all got something special here. Uh, he says, uh, yeah. And he said, I live in Atlanta, but if I was living here, this would be my church home. Yeah. And he said, something about the spirit. Come on, let's give God a hand. Amen. Oh, that's a testimony of God showing up in the midst, and that's what we want. Amen. Uh, it's time for our giving to the Lord. As you get ready to do your giving to the Lord, let us uh, take our gifts out that God will receive. Amen. Praise the Lord as we come forth uh, into the spirit of the Lord. And you know that God has been good to you, and so as you come and give to the Lord, amen. I want to remind us uh, when this season... We're going to make sure we give the way God would have us to give. Amen. <clears throat> and
and I'm speaking <clears throat> those folk who are not, who have not been tithers in this season will move into that trust of God and become tithing and offering givers unto the Lord. And the blessing of the Lord will be with you. Hold your gifts up before the Lord. All right, now together, God, this is my gift. It is a seed. And I plant it in this ministry. I'm expecting a harvest in this ministry and in my life. I'm expecting it to be exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I ask, all that I think, and all that I imagine. Lord, I thank you that I'm able to give in Jesus' name. Come on, put your hand together and bless the Lord. come of thee. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Let the church say praise the Lord. Uh, somebody says preaching time. Mm, somebody say I'm ready for a word. Uh, somebody say bless my soul. Uh, come on somebody put their hand together and give God a hand of praise of glory in the house this morning. Amen. My, 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 my God. Amen. And, and, and the choir is going to come forth in just a minute to get your hearts, your mind, and our spirits ready that we may receive the word of the Lord. Amen. And then we will have the Reverend Gregory T. will come before us and share a word from the Lord. Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand for a servant of the Lord. Amen. Amen. One who has pushed through adversity, one who has pushed through different situations. And, and has a spirit of still want to praise our God. Amen. Yeah, amen. The one that showed out in the church on yesterday. Amen. Amen. 
Y'all, y'all holler, you better have something left. Oh, God, he, since he showed out so much yesterday, I was about to tell them somebody set that blind man down. My, my, my Lord. Yeah, yeah, he done sung, he done cut up, done danced all over there. He wasn't acting like no blind man, was it? My, my, my Lord. Yeah, just, just, just messed up all up. Yeah, amen, amen. All right, come on, raise your hand up toward the pulpit. Okay, and declare, preacher, we're ready for the word. Preach, preacher, preach in Jesus' name. Put your hand together and bless the Lord. you want for your life uh, didn't sound like I had some enough amens in the house do you really want God's will for your life I'm going to ask you all to do something for me I'm going to do something just a little bit different please I need everybody in the building to stand upon their feet You know, um, what I have found is that 
if you don't open your lips and declare some things for your life, some things just won't happen for you. Because this world is a word planted. When God made this world, he sent the word to speak forth everything that would happen. Everything that he made, there was something spoken so that it would be made. And so then we have to understand that when we speak with our mouths, when we open up with our lips, things start to happen. Now, I don't know about you, but I have some great expectations for God because I don't believe that he's brought me as far as he has brought me to leave me. I believe that I got a mighty long way to go. And I don't think that I'm the only one in the house that feels that way. So let me, let me, let me do something if you don't mind, because I want to declare on today that this is the day that the Lord has made. And in this day that God has made for each and every one of us, this is your season of healing. I declare this is your season of breakthrough. I declare that this is your season of deliverance. I declare that this is your season, that the devil will be placed under your feet. And you will be victorious in every place that you spread upon. So if you believe like I believe, declare with your voice and give God your hallelujahs. And just praise God. Come on and set the Lord with me. Come on, praise his name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give him a praise. Come on and give him a praise. Come on, give him a praise. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Listen here. Some of you all have been asking God for some things. Now this is the time for you to declare victory over those things that you have been asking God for. You've been asking God to take care of your family. You've been asking God to turn your children's life around. You've been asking God to work on your husband. You've been asking God to work on your wife. You've been asking God to work on your job and, and make your boss act like your boss should act. You've been asking God to do some stuff. Well, open up your mouth. And if you really want God to do what you say you want him to do, give him the praise that he's deserved. Come on, give him the praise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, my God. I want you to stay on your feet. Reverend Gaskin is going to come and read the word. Amen. If you all can prepare for the screens, it's, it, it will be great. Psalms 100 is where we're going to. Amen. And we, 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 now listen, y'all, we're going to preach together. Cause, 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 cause we about to do some stuff together. Y'all understand? Because we are about to get ready to walk into our breakthrough together. Can I get a together spirit up in here right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, come on, read it. Where, where's Reverend? Yes, Lord. The 100th Psalm. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. 
give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. And his faithfulness to all generations. The word of God. Amen. 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 Come on and give God a hand clap of praise. You may be seated. Oh, it's preaching time already. God, we bless you and we thank you for allowing us to stand in this room on this morning, God. And to be able to just stand before your people that you have already blessed and declare even a greater word, the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, that would, that would make them understand that you are the God that is like no other. Oh, God, other gods have to be picked up and carried around. Other gods have to, have, have to be, have to be yeah, yeah, primed yeah. of God. But, but you are the one and only true living God. And so we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for making us, the Heavenly Father, victorious over all things. Now, God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in our sight. Oh, Lord. Our strengthener and redeemer, let the church say amen. Amen, amen. amen. I'm going to ask you musicians not to even leave your instruments because I need you on this morning. So please, y'all work with me today. Amen. If y'all if y'all just give me just a little bit, I'm not going to work you too hard. Y'all just stay with me. Amen. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, if I can use a little incorrect English, it ain't time to shut up. It ain't. You, you can write it down now, because this is this, 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 this my topic this morning. It ain't time to shut up. It, 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 ain't, it ain't time to shut up. Um, you know, I, I, I remember when I was coming up, and y'all, yeah, most of y'all know me already. Y'all know I've, I've shared my, my life. I, I wasn't the best child. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I, got into, <laughs> a, I got into a few fights in my life. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And, 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 and now, now I'm just being transparent with y'all because y'all got to hear this so you can get it so that you know what we're going to. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I tell you what, if you take me down just a little bit in the monitors, and I'm not sure if you got the choir microphones on, but that'll help you with some of your feedback. Amen. Um, I, 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 I got into some stuff as I was coming up, and I was, um, one of the things that you always, and, and y'all excuse me for the expressions that I'm going to use, some of them that I'm going to use is going, but but you all have heard them before in your life anyway, so don't act like you had not heard what I'm, I'm going to say. But, 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 but Brother Lee, I, I remember, you know, um, if somebody challenged you uh, to, to a fight, you know, some of your so-called friends will come up to you and they, they'll say, don't let them punk you now. You know, don't 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 let them don't don't let them punk it. You. you know you got you you got to stand up, T. You know that's what they call me. You know what I mean? They they ain't call me by my first name. Y'all know how it go. You got you got you don't let them punk you. And you 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 got to um you got to do what needs to be done. And so when when it came time for the fight, Bobby, we would uh, we we would get there. And, and if the other person really didn't want to get down, they'd start doing a whole lot of talking. But, but then, if you punk them just enough, excuse me for saying that, like, y'all, but that's, that's how we said it now. If you punk them just enough, they'd shut up. And so then you, you know, so I'd say at that time, Pastor, you know, no, this ain't time to shut up now. You know, you were doing all that talking before. Do the same talking you was doing then. Do it now. You know, if you want to get down with the get down, 
say the same stuff that you were saying when you was, you know, when you were talking in fifth period. Cause now it's after school and the principal can't get me. Let's let's do what we got to do. Cause you know we were out there on Orange Center Boulevard. We were walking home then, so you know principal couldn't get you. And see, they didn't have the police patrolling the roads at that particular time. So I was able to do some stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Before I got on down the road here. And so, so, so I, I, I say, you know, there ain't time to shut up. And, you know, that was just the thing. You know, you just tell them it's not time to shut up when it's time for you to declare what you really going to do and what you really want to do. Now, I don't know about you all, but I have found that the devil really tries to punk us. Y'all know that, right? Oh yeah, he, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He try, he, he, he try to punk you with every trial he can throw your way. With everything that he can throw your way, he is trying to punk you. He's trying to get you to shut up. He is trying, he, 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 and, and, and mind you now, as soon as you shut up, he got to fight one already. He got to fight one right already because the thing is that praise disturbs the devil's mind. He, he, can't, he can't concentrate when you praise. And the thing is, is that when you shut up, you just give him the opportunity to plant his feet. But when you start praising, he gets a little weak in the knees and, and don't know how to come back at you. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is not the time to shut up. This is not the time for you to close your mouth and to, and to, and to not give God his praise that is due him. Now, but for, for, first off, you read it already in your scripture. We are his people. He made us. He, and he made us with a purpose. He made us with a purpose of worship, and he made us with a purpose of praise. And the thing is, is that if you can get to that place of praise, you can definitely get to that place of worship. Because the thing is, is that your praise sets the atmosphere, and then it just moves things so that you can get into a place of worship. And the thing is, is that most of us can't get to that place of worship because you're too scared. You don't close your mouth, and you stop praising God. And so when was the last time that in the midst of your trial, when you were going through what you were going through on your job, that boss was acting stupid, and you just said, hallelujah, anyhow. When was the last time when, 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 when your child was acting up and, 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 and they were getting in trouble that you didn't even teach them the stuff that they're doing? And you still yet had a praise for God. When was the last time when you were dealing with a sickness in your body, illness in your body, whatever it may have uh, uh, afflicted you, whether it was from the head to the toe, whether it was your eyes, whether it was your heart, whether it was your limbs, whatever it was, when was the last time that you just gave God the type of praise that he is due? I tell you, it ain't time to shut up now. It's time right now to give God the greatest praise. Now, 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 mind you, what what I what I what I what I found also is that if you don't understand who you are, you really won't get to understand whose you are. Uh, you, 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 we, 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 get, we, get it, we get it twisted too often. And, and I'm talking about us collectively now. You know, uh, you know I know some of y'all got this thing all together and, you know, you're, 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 and you know, you're, you know. But I'm talking to those of us that really, really need to be reminded of who we are and then therefore whose we are. Because who we are are the children of God. And he has made us, and he has made, and, and since he has made us, we are his. So first of all, understand not only who you are, but whose you are. Uh, who you are is the one that can, that can walk on serpent's heads. 
And when you step there, because of who you are, it makes you mighty in him. God has made us mighty. And so then therefore, when you step, every step that you take is a step of victory. Every step that you take is a step of conquering because he's made you more than a conqueror. Every step that you take, even for the blind man, I know that every step that I take, God is the one who is leading me and, and, and because he directs my path every step that I take I can't help but be victorious today because every step that I take lets me know that God has made me a victorious child so I take steps and I walk on the enemy's head and I, and I trample upon his head because he's nobody in my life because I am God's child. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm his child. He, he has made me. And so with every step, when was the last time that you took a step in the name of Jesus? When was the last time that you took a step knowing that God has made you victorious. When was the last time that you just took a step? I dare you this morning to just take a step and just and just take a step and just take a step and just take a step and know that God has made you. Reverend Gaskin, read that third verse for me. Know that the Lord, he is God. He is. It is he who made us. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And we are his. Mm. We are his people uh. and the sheep of his pasture. We are his people. Know who you are and therefore whose you are. Now, Reverend, do me a favor and just read that fourth verse for me, please. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Stop right there. Stop right there. Because some folk was complaining when they drove into the parking lot. And you got to understand, you got to put this in, got to get this in picture, paint it freshly in your mind. Imagine those are your gates. You understand me? Because they're gates that are at each entrance with the exception of the one that's right here on you know on, on church street if you come in from John Young it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a gate right there and if you and if you came in from uh uh, uh what's the name uh, Cottage Hill it's a gate right there and when you came into the gates were you thanking God or were you complaining were you thanking God that he had brought you this far? Were you thanking God that them jokers that were still drunk from last time, they were not able to hit your car? What kind of thanksgiving did you have for God when you got on this property this morning? Enter. His gates with thanksgiving. It ain't time to shut up. When you drove up on the property, you should already had a thank you in your mouth. <laughs> thank you, God, for letting me make it just this far. <laughs> if I don't make it another inch, God, just thank you, God. Oh. Oh, thank you, God. Just, just thank you. Will y'all, will y'all just give God a thank you right now? Give Him a thank you right now. Come on, just thank Him. Come on and thank Him. Thank you, God. It ain't time to shut up now. Hey, 
So just in case that was your opportunity to go ahead on and get your thank you out of the way. Cause, cause, cause you know, my mama, my mama taught me something. It was something that my mama would always say. And, and y'all know my mama, she was teaching me all the time. As hard headed as I was, she was always teaching me stuff. And some stuff stuck with me. And so what she would always say to me is that if somebody does something good for you, you ought to at least have the sense enough to say thank you. If, 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 if somebody just does something good for you, you ought to at least have a little bit of sense. You know, sometimes we like to call it common sense, but some people ain't got common sense. And so, and so, so, so she would say, you ought to have enough sense to Ray to at least say thank you if somebody does something kind for you. So, you, know, you know, if I offer you a bottle of water, gave you a bottle of water, you ought to at least be able to say thank you, Teague. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have to do that. Especially if it was water that I bought. But, 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 but you understand me. So I offered you something and you ought to at least have the sense enough to say thank you to me. Who woke you up this morning? Who put clothes on your back? Who put shoes on your feet? Who started you off on your path? Who gave you food to eat? I tell you, you ought to have a thank you for the Lord that rose you up this morning because his grace and his mercy washed over you all night long. So you ought to at least have the sense enough to enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come on and give God a thank you. Now, 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 that's just your thank you. And that's the least you could do. But what does the rest of that scripture say, Rep? And his courts with praise. Oh, my Lord. Give thanks to him. Mm -hmm. Bless his name. Okay, all right, all right. Now. Now I understand everybody came in when they, when y'all drove up y'all y'all was saying thank you I know y'all just you know y'all 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 helping a blind man out right now so when you drove in you drove in with a thank you y'all ain't driving complaining about nothing I wish that Negro would just act right no you ain't say none of that stuff there this morning cause when you got into the gates you got into the gates with a thank you. And so I just have to believe, you know, in, 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 my, in my mind's eye, I have to believe that since you came with Thanksgiving, that when you got in here, didn't nobody have to tell you to clap your hands? Didn't nobody have to tell you to shout hallelujah? Uh, you know, you old country boy pastor, and I know... That, 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 that I had gone and I had visited a couple of houses coming up in my youth of my cousins that lived, I had some cousins that lived in a little small place y'all probably never heard of it called Camilla, Georgia. And, and sometimes when we would go, they, they, they still had, a, now they st I, let, me, let me be straight up, they had some, some water that ran somewhere, but there was a pump on the ground, because I didn't want y'all to think my my cousins were just backwood bumpkins. All right. So, so, yeah, let me make sure I make it clean, Pastor. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll go back and tell somebody, boy, he was talking about his cousins. They show country. No, uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, they had some running water now. But also on the property, they had, they had a pump that was connected to that well. And I'll be honest, y'all, that well water tastes better than some of this Zephyr Hills water that I, I drank today. And so, so, so what you'd have to do, though, you would have to work this pump. You prime that pump. Am I right, Pastor? You got to prime the pump to get the water out. And sometimes if that well is getting a little low, you have to prime a little harder. 
And, and that thing get hard after a while because cause you priming it for something that you think you ought to just get automatically. You understand what I'm saying? And so when was the last time that somebody had to come in and prime you so that you can give God a praise? And prime you so that you would just praise his name freely and prime and pump you and prime and pump you and prime it. You shouldn't have to be primed and pumped. That should automatically be a praise upon your lips. I don't know about you, but everything that I go through, I still find myself giving God a praise. There were some times I called pastor, you know, because I'm not going to lie to you, it wasn't easy when I first lost my sight. And and, and 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 so it was it was hard, y'all. It, it it was hard cause you have to remember I had had my sight for fifty years, and then all of a sudden it was gone. And and so I call him cause I just needed to talk to somebody. He said, "Man, how you doing?" And so you know you got to be careful when you ask somebody how they doing cause they just might tell you how they doing. And, and that really wasn't what you wanted. Y'all understand what I'm saying, Bobby? You, you, know, you asked me, hey, man, how you doing? Well, now, I'm going to tell you now. This is what's going on. My feet hurt, and uh, I got a little problem in my kneecap. And the, the knee just won't act right. It's, it, it's raining outside, and I feel it in my knees. My joints ain't, 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 ain't working right. And so you wasn't ready to hit it, but you asked me how I was doing. But when he asked me, I told him. I said, man, it's hard. It's hard. And, 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 and so, you, you know, it's okay to be honest about where you are. Uh, I'm not going to lie to myself, and I'm not going to let you lie to me either. And I, so, so if you asked me, I, I would have told you it was hard. It was hard, y'all. It was, it was, it was, it was, Reverend One Leader, it was hard. Especially when I first lost my sight. It was something that I just not, I was not prepared for in my life. You know, and you're not, you're not prepared for those serious storms. Right. You know, truth be told, they really wasn't prepared in Puerto Rico. You know, and, and so then therefore that's, 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 that's why they're still dealing with some of what they're dealing with. Yeah, you know, it's, it's some foolishness going on talking wise, but I'm talking about what was really happening on the island. They really wasn't prepared for the storm. You understand what I'm saying? Because when a great storm comes in your life, you're really not prepared for it. They, it. It had been so long since they had been struck by a category four or five storm. You know, none of the people that were living now can even remember the last four or five category storm that hit them directly. You understand what I'm saying? They may have got some blow bys, but this time they got a direct hit. And so when you get a direct hit, you just not prepared for that direct hit. When was the last time a direct hit came in your life? And you figured out that you wasn't prepared for it. When your son or daughter did some stuff that you weren't prepared for them to do. When your husband or wife did some foolishness that you weren't prepared for them to do. You're not prepared for storms. You understand what I'm saying? You may think you are because you don't went out and you don't bought you some batteries and you got you a flashlight and you know you got what you think are the essentials. You, you got some canned goods that will last you for four or five days and all that kind of stuff. There. But when that power goes out and it gets a little hot in the house, you know what I'm saying? I, I know how it is. You got to strip off some stuff. And Lord have mercy, the storm will hit you. And God will make you start stripping some stuff off. And he's making you strip that stuff off so that you can get to the bareness. And so that God can deal with you in the midst of your storm. And so while I was telling pastor that it was hard, I never stopped praising him. Because I knew that only God could bring me through what I was going through. Oh, it ain't time to shut up, I tell you people. It's time to give God your greatest praise. 
As a matter of fact, I wouldn't stop praising him. If you know the God that I serve, this is the same God that wrapped his child up in human flesh and allowed him to come into a sinful world. And he did good for right around 30 something years. But after a while, by and by, it came a time that he had to be tried. And as he was tried, they tried him and then they whipped him all night long. I tell you, they took him from judgment hall to judgment hall. Stay right, let's hurry. And they took him from judgment hall to judgment hall and they beat my Jesus all night long. And he took it without saying a mumbling word. He didn't say stop it. He didn't say leave me alone. Because he knew that he had to go through what he had to go through. They then took that same Jesus up a hill called Golgotha. And on Golgotha's hill, they stood him up and they stretched him wide. But what they didn't understand was that they were even exalting the Lord at that time. <laughs> because he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. <laughs> so they didn't know what they were doing even at that time. So they lifted him up in between two thieves. And he stayed there from morning till afternoon. And after a while, he gave up the ghost. But this is the part that I like. That's not where the story ends. Because one, two, three days later, my Jesus got up out of the grave. And he didn't just get up out of the grave. He got up with all power in his hands. Right there is a good place to praise the Lord because Jesus has gotten up in your life. <laughs> there were some things that were dead in your life, but God wanted to get you in the midst of the storm so he could get you to strip off some stuff so that he could deal with you just where you are. But he gave you a three-day pass. And he allowed you to do what you wanted to do on the first day. And he allowed you to do what you wanted to do on the second day. But I double dog dare you. Here it is the third day morning. Give God a praise like never before. And watch him do some things in your life. Don't stop praising him. Don't stop lifting him up. Don't stop talking about him. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Give him a praise. Shout hallelujah. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I love you, God. Come on and praise his name. Come on and praise him. Don't stop. This ain't my time. I'm not going to prime you. I'm not going to pump you. You give him a praise. Wait a minute. You looking for a financial breakthrough. Bills getting piled up. But your money is looking funny. Now I, I got to give you this one here. And I'm giving you this one for free. 
Because the next time you come around and you're giving what you say is your seed. I got to give you this one. You got to plant your seed with praise. Uh, a friend of mine named Juanita said, put a praise on it. Y'all remember when she preached that right there? And so what you have to do, once you take that gift, I don't care how big or small it may be. Because it's not about the size. Because check this out. God's going to take it and he's going to make it just enough for this house too. Now, that's what he's doing before you put a praise on it. Because when you seal it with a praise, what you do is you prick the heart of God. And he tells his angels to open the floodgates and pour you out a blessing that you do not have room enough to receive. So the next time you get ready to give God your great gift, whether it's your money or it's just you, give him your gift with a praise. I dare you to just try it right now because you can give him the gift of praise right now. Shout hallelujah. 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 Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So next time you come into the course, <laughs> before you even get there remember you got to stop by the gate so stop by the gate saying thank you and then say hallelujah <laughs> that means you gotta thank you at the gate and a hallelujah in the court and every time you give him a thank you give him a hallelujah somebody say thank you hallelujah thank you Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Listen. Now, now I'm going to do this. Pastor, he allowed me to get up here. I don't know what my time is because I can't see the clock anyway, so I can't get in trouble. Cause he can't tell me I saw what I was doing. I can't, I can't see the clock. I can see that speaker, but I can't see the clock. Help me get on down here, lady. Amen. Now, I, I, so let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me do this. Because I don't want any of us. See, thing is, I understand that people will hate on you, Bobby, when they see you being blessed. But first off, they don't even understand what you've gone through sometimes to get to where you are with your blessing. You, they don't understand that there was sometimes that there was hell and high water that came in your life that you had to deal with. And they just think because they see you driving a new Mercedes, they don't remember when you were driving a hoop day. They see you in a nice house now. They don't remember or they didn't see the time when you were living in a shack and the roof was falling off. See, they didn't understand that right there. They see your son or your daughter preaching the word of God, but they don't remember the time when you had to get down on your knees late in the midnight hour and say, Lord, help my child to come out of the mess that they're dealing with. Lord, help my child to turn their life around. Lord, help my child to stay out of trouble. Lord, help my child. See, they ain't see the time when you prayed and cried and prayed and cried and prayed and cried and prayed and cried. Cry. They didn't see that. They didn't see that. So they'll hate on you. But here's what I do know. Here's what I do know. There doesn't just have to be one person that receives the blessings of God. Y'all know we have corporate praise when we come together. Am I right about it, Pastor? 
we, we, we've come together in a great number. And the word says, let us exalt his name together. Not me. Not you. Let us exalt his name together. I want you to receive the greatest blessing God has for you. You want to know how to release it? Exalt his name. You want to know how to release it? Exalt his name. You want to know how to release it? Exalt his name. I don't want no musicians right now. Y'all exalt his name. They're going to get their blessing. I don't want y'all mad at them when they get it. Let us exalt his name together. Open up your lips and let us exalt his name together. Let us raise the roof. Let us exalt his name together. Let us get this blessing together. Come on, everybody. Let us exalt his name. Let us, that means everybody in here. Whether you can talk at a whisper or above a whisper, let us exalt his name together. Come on, musicians. Let us exalt his name. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name. Let us. When I first stood up, I stood up and I stood you up because I didn't want to be the only one to receive what God has for us in this season. Because God has some us blessings in store for us in this season. There's some us blessings that's getting ready to happen. I declare what I declare in your life and I don't declare it falsely but I declare it with a belief in my heart and I want us to be victorious I want us to receive our breakthrough I want us to receive our healing I want us to receive our deliverance because when us get it together we can go outside these doors and we can tell others what God has done for us. And we can tell them, come be a part with us. Because we don't want to have what we're getting alone, but we want the whole world to receive what we have. One of the us blessings that we got is Jesus. Because Jesus reigns in each and every one of our lives. They're going us blessing right there. Do you want us blessing this morning? Just lift your hands to Jesus. Just lift your hands to Jesus. Yes, God, we worship you. Whatever is in your children's heart, I declare it on this morning. Because as you have blessed me, I believe that you are blessing all of us. And I don't want the blessing by myself, God. I want us to receive. So if you really want to receive the blessings of God, come on. I declare God healing I declare deliverance I declare prosperity in the name of Jesus and we worship you God we bless your name Oh 
God, we love you. And we thank you. In Jesus' name, Pastor. Give him a uh, hand for a mighty word. Now, Reverend Teague told you that I was a country boy. And he well said. But he also told on himself. He let it be known he was a city boy. Now, and how do I know he was a city boy? He said when he went to his cousin's house, they had a pump. And they had to prime the pump. But what the city boy left off is this. In order to prime the pump, you had to have a bucket with a little water in the bucket. See, see the country boy know. Ah. You, you had to have a little water in the bucket. And you would have to pull the water down in the well before you prime it. Yeah, you had to have some water to get some water. See, y'all city folk don't know about that. But the country folk know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And, 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 and so what I come to tell you that when the storms blow in your life, and, and before you get on your knees to call on God for some extra strength, before you call on the Lord to send you an anointed blessing, you got to have a praise from what he used to do. You got to keep a little bucket somewhere with a little praise. Well, where he may have blessed you 10 years ago or yesterday, but you got a praise in there. And so, and, 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 and when you get ready to prime the pump, and you about to ask God to do something, you need to tell him, thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for what you did last week. Thank you. Oh, come on, give God a hand all over the aisle. Because it ain't time to shut up. Oh, God. There may be somebody that need to get some water in your bucket. Your bucket may be dry. You can't prime your pump. But if you come, I'll introduce you to a man that offer you a drink of water. And he'll give you water where you never, somebody say never, say never thirst again. If you want to accept Jesus, you ought to come right now. Uh, if you just need a church home, the doors of the church are open. The Lord is standing. The Lord is waiting. You are to come. Go mm. ahead, choir.
that you just spoke into my life. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a hand all over the house. church say amen. God is a marvelous God. Let's stand all over the house. Say amen. And tell to where y'all can go to Sunday school this morning. Uh, God name. Come on, give God another hand for the word. Amen. The wonderful word. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see, y'all see why his mama had to deal with him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. See ya? Yeah. He loved to show up. Yeah, tell my, tell my, he can't say I went over time because I can't see the time. Now, now he want to tell my he can't see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. See, I believe he see when he want to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Brother Cedric, we understand, though. Uh-huh. He see when he want to see. Yeah. He want to play Ray Charles now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's give him a hand. Amen. Wonderful word. Wonderful word. Wonderful word. Amen. <laughs> Praise God from whom all blessings flow. people of God this is not the time to shut up now but it's time to raise up the greatest praise that you've ever raised up in your life in this season that we're in right now it is time so don't shut up don't shut up don't shut up now may the grace of God and the love of his wonderful marvelous son the sweet communion only hope of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with each and every one of you henceforth and forevermore and let all of God's people with an uplifted voice sing with a great voice hallelujah and amen and say amen Amen. Amen. Come on, let the people of God say, 